What's up guys? Today I'm taking you behind the scenes of my new single, This Is Home, and talking all about the inspiration behind the music video that I just put out for it. that's really about that nostalgia that we all have in some way, shape, or form for the places and the people and the things that we call home. I think that's such a universal feeling and you know, I really wanted to pay homage to that, especially in a time when we've all been spending a ton of time at home, that's for sure. The song was really special because I felt like as a touring musician, you know, I feel like I've had a lot of different homes over the years. I grew up in a small town of Cleveland, Ohio, and I lived there my whole life. Like, I went to the same school throughout, you know, kindergarten through senior year in high school and met my best friends, who are still some of my best friends today, when I was like five years old. So. I have deep roots in Ohio, and now having lived in Los Angeles for over 10 years, I wanted to sort of use the video to draw some parallels between my home now and my hometown, and then also sort of illustrate how I've grown and some of the things that are different. That was kind of a goal of mine in the video, was to kind of play off of some scenes from these 80s and 90s VHS tapes and see if I could recreate something um, here in the present in LA. You know, show that common thread between where I'm from and where I am now. One of the most fun parts of making this music video was going through all of these old VHS tapes. I mean, it was really hard to narrow down which scenes I wanted to pick for the music video because there are so many. More than anything, I just wanted to capture that magic of childhood and the magic of home. It looks different for everybody, sounds different to everybody, but I just wanted to see if I could find the footage that felt like it really captured that for me. At the beginning of the music video, we decided to use this home movie that my dad and my sister and me had made for my mom for, I think it was Mother's Day. And it's us just like doing a funny dance and my dad playing the guitar. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I first learned to play guitar and write songs because my dad taught me all of these things as a musician himself. And I really like owe a lot of what I decided to do with my life to him because you know, he and my mom both encouraged us so much to just play and be silly and dress up and make up songs and put on plays and like, that freedom to be a creative kid, just making stuff, was such a huge part of helping me feel brave enough to not take the expected path in my life. One of my favorite lyrics in the song is about how there's history in these walls. And, you know, I actually got that idea, the idea for that line from this real wall that we had in our basement of the house I grew up in, where me and my little sister and my two younger cousins would mark our height over the years. And we lived in the house for so long that the wall ended up having like all these markings and different pencils and different pens and different colors from years and years of us growing up. and. It was one of the hardest things to leave behind when I moved and when my family moved on from that house and you know that was I almost wish that I could knock that wall down and take it with me but that's kind of why I love writing songs because there is an element of you know if you put an idea in a song it sort of lives on forever in a way oh, oh. The lyrics at the beginning of the song in the first verse are really about that love-hate relationship that sometimes exists with the places that we call home or our hometowns. I hate the ground in my hometown Where people know the truth and tell Because I feel like for me, it's such an important part of the story to be honest about the fact that sometimes it's really hard to go back and sometimes it's hard to be confronted with 
memories or with things that maybe you would have done differently if you could go back and the magic of a small town is that there's this tight-knit group of people but inevitably there's gonna be drama that first verse is really about the fact that sometimes going home can mean the most incredible positive things like hugging your family members who you don't get to see and you know revisiting that park that you used to play at when you were growing up but it can also mean like uh oh I'm probably gonna get into a weird political fight with that one second cousin at Thanksgiving, you know, like <laughs> life is messy and home is messy and we all have kind of these stories that intersect, but they're not usually like cookie cutter, um, cookie cutter stories. They're, they're messy and they're complex and you know, that's kind of what, what makes us who we are in the first place. So that's really what the song is about. Another one of my favorite lines in the song is the bridge, which is, I won't always be here, but I'm glad that I belong here and I can't escape it. And I think that that sort of wraps up the idea of the song and the video perfectly because you know, life does change and we do move on and you know, that's inevitable and I think that that is actually what growth looks like, but it's cool to feel like even though I'm not always going to be here or live here or maybe call this home, you know, I'm glad that I belong here and I'm glad that even if it's dysfunctional and even if it's sometimes hard, you know, I'm glad that I belong here and I can't escape it. You know, this is who I am. It's a part of my story. And I think that for me, that was an important statement to make because I definitely feel that way about all of the places that I've called home over the years. I think it's really fun to feel like home doesn't have to just be one thing. It can be something that we're adding to constantly over the course of our lives. It can be like an inspiration board that we're just pinning more stuff to as we get older and have more experiences and adventures. And for me, that's the definition of home that I'm the most inspired by. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, music videos, lyric videos, videos about creativity. I have a lot of really fun stuff I'm working on and it's really fun to be back here on YouTube hanging with you guys. So thanks for being here and I'll see you soon.